Welcome back. This is a how-to and grading from the templates that you've imported into your class rosters. All right, going into my class, I'm looking at my elementary PE staff because that's our example. I'm going to look at standard one. Looking at standard one, I'm going to click on striking forehand. When I click on striking forehand, if you've downloaded the templates that you were from me, this will automatically pop up. If you want to understand this more in detail, then make sure you go back to how to do a, how to create a grading scale, and it'll give you the information here. Quick overview: the dark green is a advanced, that is a four. Uh, the light green face is a three, proficient. The orange face is a two, at partially proficient. The red is an unsatisfactory, a uh, one point, and the yellow face is no value, is for if a student is absent, and so the score doesn't count against them. It's not a zero. That's just what it is. So when I, I'm going through and assessing students on striking with a forehand, I, I double click on one student. I don't click on where it says striking forehand. I click on the student boxes, and this comes up. When I pop on, I'll give, say, that majority of the students were proficient. I press and hold after clicking one of the smiley faces, and then it brings up these options. I'm going to click copy, which is on the right-hand side. And now, to do a fill all, I'm going to copy to all column, and I'm going to copy down. Now I filled all the way down with this, and you'll notice at the bottom when I scroll down, it already calculates an average of a 3.0. Now as I go through, well, Kathy was absent, so she doesn't get a score, and Penny, well, she's partially proficient, and so is Jim, and so I go through and I adjust the scores accordingly. Nick Spencer, well, he is doing pretty bad. He's pretty terrible, isn't he? So he gets in unsatisfactory, so he's a 1. So it shows you at the bottom that it was an average. The class was a 2.8%. So the class is partially proficient or proficient depending on how you grade. If you average up or average down, you'll do accordingly. When I'm done, I press finish. So here is the PE standards. What are the PE standards? Well, when I look at the actual skill, click on skill striking with the forehand. If I go under editor, it shows PE standards. Also, grade type PE standards and the at calculation and line below, average is set up. Now, when we scroll all the way over to the end, it already begins calculating the final grade for you. These are already set up. The goal with the templates is for you to take this and just begin using it. All you have to do is add in your classes, and that is it. When it comes to the standard one, two, three, four, standard one, psychomotor, standard two, three, and four are more on the health slash social pieces of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the how to with the grading scales. And if you've downloaded the templates, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, it helps streamline that information. Um, also, if you are doing this, if you want to do a pre-post assessment, which is awesome, essential to do, if, but if you want to show data specifically, when I'm going through, if I press and hold, and then I look at the, my icon, so I do a text icon, uh, paint, and then the word box, if I click on that word box, it brings up, I can write annotations. So when we're striking with the forehand, they hit all the goals, great. But if I'm looking at, say, Penny, she, on the other hand, was missing something. I bring up my annotations, so I type in. Um, so we're striking with the forehand. Did not follow through. So that's what she was missing, and that's what I have in there. Now, to do pre-post before even writing this in, I'm going to go look at this uh, same box here, bottom right-hand corner. You see a paperclip. I click on the paperclip, I can record a video. I can record individual students pre-post. So at the beginning, show me a strike hand, a uh, forehand strike. They do that. I videotape each individual student. That's my pretest. And then at the end, I videotape them again. So now I have a side-by-side -side comparison of what it is. Now, I'm not going to videotape at the moment, but I will show you what this looks like. Cancel. Done. Done. All right, I press finish. Now you'll notice that next to Penny, where her partially proficient is, there's a little black corner. If I click on that, at the very bottom of the page, it says Penny, striking forehand, did not follow through. So it shows my annotations here. If I had a video there, the video would pop up on the right-hand side in this annotation. I could click it, the whole video would show up, and I could watch the video there, slide over, show the post, and I can show the growth in that way. So if I have an administrator who is wanting to see growth in a specific unit, I could show them here's my growth, here is what they're missing, and here's the information here. If I want to do a whole class, 
pre-assessment, I top left hand corner I have my back button, I have my seating chart button, then I have my pin. If I click that pin, it brings me up a pegboard. I press and hold my pegboard. I can add a resource. When I add a resource, I can record an entire class doing a skill. For example, first grade does backwards locomotive skills. So if I were doing an activity and I say, all right, skip backwards to play this tag game, play uh, toilet tag. When the students are playing the game, they're skipping backwards. I videotape the entire class, making sure to get every student for at least three seconds. And then I do it again later on in the year when I do my post assessment. Now I have a whole class pre and post that I can look at and I can give each individual kid a grade. And I have this and I can show growth with my students to an administrator or anybody doing my evaluation here. Great tools to have for the grading and the using the templates. Again, if you want to know how the template the grading skills are set up, please see the how to on the grading skills. But happy grading. Hopefully this streamlines your assessment pieces and have a wonderful day.